All right, what is going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna be covering buying your perfect farmhouse. It's gonna go over finding the house and doing the necessary renovations. So join me along with me and my hike. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start off with necessary things that you want. So do you want a house that can fit your five or the entire family or just like a couple people in them? Well, you need to find that out beforehand. You need to figure out how many rooms everyone needs and how many bathrooms you need because you know, finding the farmhouse really does require that we're going to start off with the inside of the house so you really need to figure that all out because making sure that your inside is perfectly good is what's really necessary the main reason well quite frankly because well if you have like a family of seven and you have like three bedrooms i don't think it's gonna work out too well or like everyone's gonna have to share one entire bedroom so yeah make sure you have all that necessary information down so that way you know what the minimums and maximums are for your house all right, so moving on to the next thing. This is going to be something completely different. We're moving on to, well, figuring out what type of work needs to be done on the house. Usually it'll show you on the listing, and if it doesn't tell you on the listing what work needs to be done on your house, well, once you go to the meeting, because a lot of homes actually do that, oh, I need to turn around because I'm not going to step in a bunch of skunk cabbage. Um, that's really it. You need to make sure what, you need to take note of what's inside the house. So that way you know what work needs to be done. Cause like 98% of the time farmhouses have been abandoned for at least a year. Like, yeah, that's, that's basically the gist of things. So make sure you know what work needs to be done to your house before you go in, jump in and buy it and stuff. All right, so let's move on to the exterior. You need to figure out what is working with the exterior because you need to figure out how many acres of land you want. Most farms go with at least 15 acres, but it could be whatever you want. It could just be a simple suburban backyard. Really, that's it. Because a lot of farms really want this um, massive backyard, but in reality, all you really need is just a couple acres of land. But if you really want a lot of acres of land, you need to figure out what fits in your price range. And really, if you find a lot of land in a really good house, that's like 250, the land is more likely than not maintained unmaintained because well a lot of the time these really low priced houses are just because the actual house price and not like the property price because some properties haven't been maintained for decades so i have very limited knowledge about like buying a house you know like putting all the down payments in because well i've never bought a house before but i know what goes into these sort of houses because well you need to know this information it's very obvious information so well, once you bought your house, you need to figure out what you want to do next. Because when you buy your house, you want to immediately start doing work before you move into it. Unless your farmhouse is complete, then more likely than not, you bought it for like 650 grand. So, yeah. You need to start doing the work. You need to figure out what stores are nearby, what stuff is nearby that, well, you need to um, make sure you know what stuff is nearby. Because, well, obviously, that's what a lot of people really want to know. So, you need to make sure that you know what's nearby and well yeah because a lot of people don't know what's nearby and obviously it's very annoying and you also need to make sure you know like your home depot or something that's nearby so i'm sorry i'm repeating myself my camera's on like three percent battery right now so i need to get this out quickly but yeah so you need to make sure you know what's nearby all right so now that you've settled in you got all the necessary work done you know the interior now it's time to actually get to work figure out what you want to do you know build some barns and stuff i'm gonna be dropping a couple of videos over the summer probably because well you need to figure out what you're doing and you need to figure out what livestock you're gonna get and i'm gonna probably be posting a couple of videos about livestock in the coming days so if you want to stay tuned please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and also we're building a hoop coop for my meat chickens soon so if you want a tour on that in either a very short video or a short please be sure to like and subscribe and i'll and click on one of the videos on the screen i would be glad to see you there too bye